Now we're going to there is one thing we have not clicked on other than the door, obviously, but we're not going to go back down there, and that is said ladder. You need a hand with that? I got it. Yeah, bad choice of words there, I made. I just like how they make the guy with one arm do everything. Damn it. Oh, shit. The bells. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You shouldn't be the one to go. My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. <laughs> like how all of them were so excited to risk their lives. Oh, and I know I just said, like, volunteer to do it, but my god, the amount of stuff they're letting a one-armed man do on his own. <laughs> you want a hand with that? Yeah, n nice pun there, Romy. Maybe we should have someone more able-bodied doing that. You sure you're up for it, Lee? Say that again and you're gonna find out. Fair enough. Hey, <laughs> there's Lee we love. Easy does it now, Lee. It's just like at the fairground. You climb that ladder. You get to the top, you get a stuffed toy. <laughs> oh shit! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> fuck! Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit! Try to find another way out of there. <laughs> I love that reaction from Omid. <laughs> and by the way, I, I was not paying attention there and really, really nearly fell. A few solid rings of this and there'll be thousands down below. It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked! Oh, well, let's ring the bell anyway. Never know, maybe Batman will come help me. Bring out your dead. They're coming this way. Tons of them. Jesus. Now get back here. <laughs> Easier said than done. I'll just... Strap on my rocket shoe, shall I? I think I have to jump. There's no way back. Fuck, be careful. <laughs> nah, I was just gonna let myself fall. Do it blindfolded. I'm so fucked. <laughs> I think for this last episode, we're going with pessimistic Lee. Let's do this! And he's a rocket man! <laughs> nice. Now let's get the hell out of here. Was it Omid saying his legs feeling better now? I just saw you limping up there, you little gimp. <laughs> Kenny, we're home. They fucked us! What? Who? Vernon. He didn't have Clem. So where the fuck is she? With someone else. We're going after her. Fuck. 
just... Jesus! Wait, the cancer patients did this? Yeah, they were waiting. Tired of living underground, I guess. They kicked the shit out of me and tossed me in here. Wait, what the hell happened to you? Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. Nah, it's one of those blue screens. Live through it, which is a start. And well, uh... I thought it might buy me some time. You know, get that bite off my body. Hopefully, whatever's gonna happen takes longer. <sighs> Jesus. Well, that's all having staring contest. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Get over it! Krista's right. The boat was a pipe dream. We still go after Clem, and then we get out of Savannah and rethink our entire plan. Rethink? How about we just think for once? That's what I'm saying we do. Calm down, Kenny. Yeah, chill. No reason to play nice with Kenny anymore. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? <laughs> we use my rocket shoes. Get to the countryside. Dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill. Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Careful, guys! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katya and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they died. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse and I don't know. So give me a fucking break! Oh, Ben, I'm... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. <laughs> we can secure this place. Krista! Get upstairs! Make sure nobody's here! On it. Kenny! Look for weapons! Gather anything you can find. Will do. Ben. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. Got it. That was probably the- Omi! <laughs> that was probably the worst choices it? I could have made for those people. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Front doors! Hey! Bow legs makes a return! Could go out for episode 5 of us slipping over at least once more. Dude, you think he's cut his foot off the way this guy acts? Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! And yet Hurry. again, you leave it to the one-armed bandit. Okay, what have we got here? Nothing around here. Ah, oh, draw. That's gonna be a good shout. Bingo! Take their goddamn arms off! Watch out! <laughs> off with your fingers! <laughs> Now what? 
This is a big, sturdy house. It'll hold. Yeah, I think so too. That isn't what I meant at all. I meant we hold this house as in like we fight. Shit. Hey, look! Get upstairs. Go. There's Bree. <laughs> oh, I'll be wanting to do this. Oh, this felt so so good. Yeah, I didn't mean like. Guys, help me with this. I didn't mean the house would hold. I just meant like we'll hold this house like a fort. Oh, it's Q massing time. Mash, 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 Q. Everyone get to the end of the hallway. What do we do now? This will slow it down. We get to the end of the hallway. And take a fucking stand. Wish I had my other arms to steady myself. Get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Two. Y'all know where to aim. Get ready. You didn't tell us your amount, Kenny. Come on, don't leave me in suspense now. First shot goes to Lee. Second shot. Third shot. I'm gonna run out of ammo before they even take a shot. Well, I'm out of ammo. It's up to you now, guys. <laughs> Lee, just do like a cowboy and throw your gun at him. Fuck! Where do we go? There's no goddamn opening. Up. Yes, again. The one-armed man has to open the hatch for you. Dropped it down there. Hey, look at that. Ben's good for something. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third. Industrial... Need? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I like these stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. I'm okay. Don't. That mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah, yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it! We can't panic! Do you think that worked? I... I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? Hey! <laughs> don't matter. You don't want to know about it. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you! What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. 
I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem and not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. Him and the You're puns listen again. To me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you, because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. You're not touching me. Do you understand that? You know exactly what to do if I turn, and that's enough. Do you hear me? You might become one of them! You understand that? How can you be fucking calm about that? Off with your head! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. <laughs> Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. We can't spend the next three months digging through a wall. If the rest is as dilapidated as this, we might not have to. <laughs> not an option, my friends! Lee's venting his anger. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? That's it, let the moustache do the working for us. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. <laughs> I like this sort of mutual agreement Kenny and Lee have together. They're not friends, but they're not strangers either, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I do enjoy it. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us, which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. <laughs> If you were me, you'd be a foot taller. Hey! And about 50 pounds heavier. You, uh, wouldn't get scared as much. With your arm and my leg, I'll cripple fight you right here, buddy. Oh, I still got this one. Put my right palm on your forehead and just let you swing away. <laughs> Fine. You win, jerk. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone, too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? I think he's gonna die. We just get Clementine, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And... You know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. It does kind of sound like you've given up a little bit. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? We uh, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No, that was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. Yeah, well, that is true. The kid killed his family, so there's been some tension there. Really? What happened? Kenny's son got bitten during a raid by some gang that Ben was secretly helping. They used him. Kenny's wife died because of their son. Jesus. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny, whatever that's good for. All right, I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure, if you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. 
Looks like we're having story time over here. Jeez. <laughs> Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? <laughs> what does it look like? Still feels pretty recently chopped. So no, Kenny feels about as uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. You are a failure to your mustache, Kenny. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. It'll be alright, Ken. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. <laughs> and if you want to know why you should keep Ben alive, that scene where he shouts is just the whole reason why. Take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. Yeah, <laughs> you're pretty vocal about it too, Jesus, Kenny. That's no secret. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. The one time with those options, the only problem I find is that I don't have a chance to read them all. But sure, alcohol is not going to kill me now. <laughs> Getty stare, you will drink my whiskey. What are you doing, woman? You're pregnant. Yeah, she's pregnant, if you haven't guessed by now. <laughs> I think Kenny's in love. I'm through. No walkers. Things are looking up. <laughs> 